Hey guys, Guitar Pilgrim here and today's a good day because today we're gonna play some Jimi Hendrix. Okay, so the song is a bit more obscure, it's called Country Blues. Let's take a look at the basic riff. So basically it's... Then you want to add a bit of vibrato on some of the notes. Here, for instance. And especially here. Now what you want to do is make sure you have a good groove and you want to mute the low E string as well as the A string with the palm of your right hand. That's better. And then what you want to do is make sure to use dynamics. You don't want to play everything just as loud. I suggest to start soft with a peak in the middle and then gradually become softer. If you would sing the melody, it would be something like... That's much more interesting than just the same thing. Let me show you. Really a huge difference, isn't it? Then what you want to do to make it better is on the second and fourth beat, make sure to hit the strings. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you notice the first one is quite easy. The second one is more difficult because you need to play the note on the A string as well as hit the strings. So what you want to do is mute the other strings, thump muting the low E string, ring finger muting the D string, and the other strings, index finger muting the top three strings. That way you're able to play the note and be able to hit the strings as well without getting any unwanted noise. That's difficult. You need to do that the second time you hit the strings, as well as the fourth time. If you're able to do that, the groove will be so much better. Take that away. Something's missing. quite important. Now we're going to repeat it once and then we're going to play the same riff one string down. Except for that last note, that one's exactly the same. And then back to the riff, of course. And here we have some chords. Love that chord. So we have the C add 9, thump, 8th fret, low E string, ring finger 10th fret on the D string, middle finger 9, G string, index 8, B string, and the little finger 10th fret on the E string. It's a typical Hendrix chord. Try to mute the A string with either your thump or ring finger. Here we have one bar, all down strums. One and two and three and four and a little lick. Then 6th and 7th fret, index and middle finger, again a hammer on, and pull up, and that's it. Then 
Then it's on to the B flat seven. Try to mute the two top strings with your index finger. You can even slide a little bit. And it's back to the riff. How does that sound? One, two, three, four, riff. D7, and back to the riff. Except it ends on an E7. You can even try to press down the first fret, the B string as well with your index finger. For the E7 sharp 5. Okay, lots of stuff to cover, I know. Let's see if we can play very slow the entire thing. See if you can join me. Here we go. Now once you're able to play that a little bit faster, then you're ready to add some extra little things in there. The first thing you want to try to do is to add this little chord, which actually is an A7 with a hammer on here, after the first note. thing, you notice I play a few extra little ghost notes in there as well, so try to keep your hand moving. That sort of stuff. Once you get to the A string here, 5th fret, you can play also ring finger 7th and little finger the 8th fret on the B and the E string. Once you get to this point, it's nice to improvise just a little bit in the A minor pentatonic scale. And back. You can also add the index finger here on the 6th fret on the G string. That's more or less the same. Not exactly an easy song to play, is it? Well, it's Jimi Hendrix. I think he's the best guitarist ever, so what else can we expect? Okay guys, that's it for today. As always, a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thanks for supporting the channel, and I will see you next time.